cabinet has given approval for two initiatives that are aimed at boosting science, technology, engineering and maths education in Ghana across basic and senior higher education levels. The first is a construction, provision of equipment and training of trainers for regional technology, engineering, arts and maths centers for the senior high school system. The project, which is budgeted at 88 million CDs, is a school-based interactive science and technology learning center, which will provide practical approaches towards learning in the senior high school system. The overall aim of the project is to enrich the academic content offered by formal training in science, technology, engineering, and maths. The project is expected to improve the pedagogy of teaching of maths and science, is expected to address the fear of teaching of maths and science, and is expected to provide technology kits for maths and science education at the senior high school level. It will also provide ICT equipment to improve the competency of both teachers and students. The first phase comprises 10 centers at 88 million Ghana cities, and a second phase of six additional centers will be subsequently constructed. Upon receipt of parliamentary approval and disbursement of funds, um, this first phase is expected to be completed within two years. The second initiative is a basic science, math, technology, engineering and math program budgeted at 76 million pounds for delivery and installation of what they call B-STEM equipment. That is basic science, technology, engineering and math equipment and associated training to improve quality of science and math education within the basic education system in Ghana. This comes in addition to introducing basic engineering and technology for the first time um, into basic education. This second project builds on a successful pilot that was conducted in 2008 with 100 junior high school teachers and is aimed at, among other things, developing the teaching of science and maths to better prepare teachers so that they can impart practical and problem solving skills to our pupils. It's also aimed at introducing engineering and technology concepts at the basic education levels. It is also aimed at improving the quality of science and math education and resources at the basic level. And finally, it's aimed at increasing science and maths participation at the senior high school level. If you don't get the kids to pick up uh, an interest in uh, science, technology, engineering and math at the basic level, the numbers that come up to the senior high level are usually lower. So it's expected that this project will also now increase the numbers that participate in uh, STEM at the senior high school level. The program will cover all basic schools in Ghana in three years, sorry, in three phases over a five-year period and includes training modules for regional advisors and teachers. Let me take that one again. The program will cover all basic schools in Ghana in three phases over a five-year period and it includes training modules for regional advisors and teachers. It is expected that these two initiatives will significantly improve the teaching and learning of science and maths in our schools and in so doing, improve the analytics and problem solving skills of our young ones in the medium to long term. The cabinet has given approval for these two major initiatives. We deem it necessary to uh, ask you to kindly help us inform uh, the nation as we get ready to roll this out.